A leader in the Royal New Zealand Navy takes interest in Maryland's eastern shore. Commodore David Gibbs and his wife Paula stepped onto a national historic landmark, Skipjack Rebecca T. Roark, on Tillman Island. At the turn of the century, there was a thousand. Last winter, there was ten. They're all gone. They're all gone. Captain Wade Murphy Jr. is talking about working skipjacks. The Rebecca T. Ruark was built in 1886. At the age of 78, he still oysters October through March. And this time of year, he typically offers sailing charters, but the pandemic is keeping her docked. What kind of boat do they use for oystering now? Well, now they use CDs, oh, boats ones? on the other side. Mm -hmm. okay. Right now, right now, there are crab boats summer and the winter the oyster boats and it just struck me when wade was talking the the impact of i think to a degree the technology on on the fishery you know and the and the decline of these beautiful um sailing skipjacks here she is doing her work earlier this year Captain Murphy told Commodore Gibbs, who is based at the embassy in Washington, D.C., he believes aquaculture farming will replace the work of these historic ships. I think that's going to be the end of the working boat. The Kiwis watched a crabbing boat come in for the day. Captain Wade's grandson brought back several bushels, and they enjoyed cracking crabs for lunch after visiting with fellow New Zealander Kristen Greenaway, the president of Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum, just up the road in St. Michael's. For me, um, I'm, a, I'm a sailor. I'm, uh, I have a, a strong interest in shipbuilding. So the, the work that they're doing at the Maritime Museum in building and restoring old old ships with the Chesapeake, the, the history of that I've found fascinating. Shipwrights are rebuilding a replica of the Maryland Dove, one of the ships that began the Maryland colony in the early 17th century. On her visit with the Commodore, Greenaway tells Bay Bulletin, we found some real common interests with the background in naval and marine engineering and the museum's efforts to preserve the cultural heritage of the Bay region and keep alive its shipbuilding traditions. And I'm always happy to meet a fellow Kiwi. We will be coming back and I, the connection this morning uh, with the museum is something that I will, I will continue to foster. I... Captain Murphy's son, another waterman in the family, plans to take over the historic skipjack when his dad retires. He's hoping the Commodore's high rank will drive interest for people to visit Tillman Island. He's going to go back and tell some people and they'll tell some people and they'll tell people just word of mouth and, and a little bit of advertising that goes a long way. To help. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.